my dad, he had a super adventurous life. When he was younger, all he wanted to do was travel and explore. And we grew up with an adventurous lifestyle because of because of his lifestyle. And so, and everything that I do, a lot of it comes back to both parents constantly just tell us like, do what makes us happy, you know, do what we love and follow our passions and our dreams. It allowed me to go out and explore and do the things that I wanted to do. He always believed that if you did that, that everything would work out. And I think that's like the biggest reason I am where I am today. So when I first moved to Hawaii, it was in 2005, and stand-up paddle boarding was really new. And when I started working at my job, we had two paddle boards, and the guys started to paddle board, and I was like, well, if the guys can do it, I can do it, because I'm really competitive with them. And so shortly after that, there was a local race in Kona, and I decided to enter, and I enjoyed it so much, and I realized that it was like a perfect combination of, of, of a sport that I really enjoyed, and one that I could you know, be competitive at again, and I just, I just loved it. The Molokai to Oahu race, I've competed in it for eight years. I've done the channel crossing nine times. It's hard to describe really why it is such a special place, but it's just something about the energy in that channel. You sit with all the athletes and there's just this incredible energy of everyone that they're so excited and there's some fear about what's gonna happen and what's gonna take place. And then the next morning you do this big prayer and everyone lines up together. Um, there's you know hundreds of athletes holding hands on this beach and the wind's usually blowing and it's just beautiful and and then you head out and you start the race and there's times when you don't see anyone it's just, it's just you and your escort boat and um, it's always something that I think you know I, I, I'd want to do for as long as I can so in January um, my husband and I talked about doing the event as a team and this was actually before I found out that I was pregnant but we signed up and uh, that channel crossing the one this year was the most fun I've had just because it felt like going back to my first year where I just was doing it because I love to do it and I love to be there. And I got to share it with two other people and, and the little baby. <laughs> it is possible to keep doing what you love to do and live the life you want to live and have a child. You can still continue to be competitive and you see that now, especially this year athletic and competitive and professional women are having children. And it's not stopping them from, um, from doing what they're good at, and it's not gonna stop them from continuing on to do what they're good at. And I think it's about changing your mindset, about not believing that you have to stop your life and that nothing is gonna be the same. And it's just about believing that you can keep going and doing the things you love to do. Jenny Kalmbach, and I am a woman of adventure.